so let's hop on in. Now you might be wondering, how does this lift actually go up and down? These are the main support cables. These are quarter inch galvanized steel cables and they're coated in a, a conductive grease. So we're using the cables of the lift to allow us to create a circuit to go all the way back up here to the back of this garage through some 240 volt contacts, very similar to relays, that actually control the lift. So let's go for a ride. The coolest thing is that this gate will open up. As this lift goes down the hill, we need to move the floor. Otherwise the bottom of this lift is gonna hit that floor, stopping us on our trip down. So what do we do? We make the floor move out of the way. We got a linear track system, baby. Now the floor's out of the way and we're ready to ride. Here we go. As we get down towards the bottom here, there's two points that are gonna make contact with these pulleys. It's gonna sit, it's gonna, one, it's gonna stop us, two, it's gonna signal for me to turn off the power. They also serve another purpose too, and I'll get to that in a second. All right, we have hit the bottom. So you see these points right here on these cables. Those are just clamps, one clamp only. For one, they set me at the perfect ground level height, so that way I know when to stop the lift. Then number two, they do serve some sort of safety buffer. If for any reason, the cable above my head that's lowering me down were to snap, which is well overrated for the weight that we're holding, and this were to fly down, we did all the math. When you hit the bottom of this, if you break at the absolute top, which luckily once you're loaded in there and the gate is still closed, you're only gonna go crashing into the gate, all right? But you get down to the bottom here, and you have this. The bottom of this chair would pivot at this point and the bottom of the chair would pick up and you would actually be sitting like this, going straight forward. So hopefully what would happen is uh, all the pressure of your butt would go into the bottom of your seat and you would not get launched forward into this that wouldn't feel too good going 30 miles an hour now, would it? 30 miles an hour, 31 miles an hour is the speed at which you would be hitting this piece of wood if you did not have any other way to stop. Now, there's a lot of things that have to go wrong by the time you got down here and that this were to even do anything because this is not a fail safe. This is just a clamp just for a little peace of mind. I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, we are here down here at the bottom right now. We're going to take a little walk around and I will show you how the tower works. So we have a tower down here at the bottom. It's made out of four by fours. We got two of them stacked together because we do have a lot of tension pulling upwards. And uh, we, we obviously have some poured concrete. Now this is not completed yet. That's just the first layer. It is going to be encased. And then this is the ground anchor. This ground anchor is extremely heavy. It's uh, well over a thousand pounds, probably around 1500 pounds, and it's fully rebarred. The two main galvanized steel pipes coming out of the ground. Now those are about six feet underground. So why would you want a lift in your backyard like this? Simple. You have all of this beautiful nature in your backyard. You have a beautiful stream in your backyard. I want to be able to come down here every night. I don't want to walk up all these stairs. Now a little backstory of the stairs right here. You notice the last flight of stairs right here? There's supposed to be a flight of stairs there. It's missing. 80% of the completion of that project, I thought to myself, man, I'd just love to have a lift that could bring me up and down. So I stopped doing that and then I built this awesome thing. On this beautiful ride up back to the top, What's gonna happen in this backyard? What is our actual game plan? We're clearing all this wood out, burning it up. We're gonna be putting about 20 tons 
of beach sand down here and we're building a beach by the stream baby and then we're gonna have a boardwalk and a gazebo right over there with a fire pit inside of that gazebo. All right guys, if you enjoyed that video, please subscribe and check out the submarine video. Yes, I built a submarine. That is the industry that I work in. Um, everything marine related from boats, submarines, watercraft, and even aviation like that is my passion. So welcome to planes, boats, and submarines.